Um, you guys know how to make one of these things work? I'm kind of a little rusty, I think. <laughs> said this year I was going to do more videos and I'm sure I spent a lot of money on cameras and stuff but I sure am not getting many videos done uh, okay <laughs> welcome back to surveying with Robert's Tuesday tip actually in about four minutes it's going to be Tuesday right now it's Monday night at basically 1156 so um i got four minutes to get this done so it'll be a tuesday tip is that how that works i don't know anyways so here's what we got going on today so um somebody asked me i actually have been asked several times about uh adjusting a point cloud so you bring in data um for instance i, I had a somebody called me the other day and asked me about um adjusting the a point cloud in business center they're like they brought some data in from like USGS or from somewhere they got a point cloud and they brought it in and it was about I think he said about a foot maybe there's a foot difference between the point cloud and his shots out in the field so what he wanted me to do was to be able to lower the point cloud down to match his shots and my, my knee-jerk reaction when somebody asked me that is is build a surface just lower the surface but I thought about it and I was like, you know, there's got to be a way to um, to lower the point cloud um, in Business Center. It's it's like a block. I mean, it's a block of points. And I just thought, man, there's got to be a way. So there's a tool that I use when um, in one of the videos I did on maybe it was cutting plane, but I drew the um, outline of a building and then I took that elevation and and I lowered it down to the finished floor. I don't remember if you guys remember seeing that video. It was one of the videos, um, I think maybe about the SX-10 or something. So <clears throat> anyways, after talking to him, I, I dug a little bit and, and I figured out how to lower the point cloud. So, what I've got pulled up here is a point cloud that came from uh, a drone. I, I don't even know exactly where it came from, um, but it was given to me by somebody. And um, so I went ahead and brought this in. I didn't put on any, any projection or anything. I just said scale only, because I just want to show you guys how to do this. Um, but I, I went ahead and did a, um, I extracted the regions out of it. So I have, uh, extracted the trees and the ground and the buildings and the different things in here. So um, I'm not going to go in real in depth into that part because what I want to show you is when I go over here and I'm going to turn everything off but ground. Okay, so now we have the point cloud. You'll notice that I'm in plan view and I don't know if it makes any difference or not. I'll be honest with you, I haven't dug in far enough, but I do know it works in plan view, so we're going to go with that. So um, what we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is we need to look and see what the elevation is somewhere out here on this ground. So if I go back to home and I go to measure distance and I say measure point and I select out here somewhere, it says it's 18.71 feet. OK, so let's say that we want to take it up I don't know, 100 feet. OK, so what we're going to want to do is you're going to go back to, uh, I believe it's under CAD. And right here under edit, you're going to see this change elevation. I'm going to click on it. Now down here, because this is a question that was also asked at the same time. Down here at the bottom is where they have moved the polygonal and the rectangular select. They're down there at the very bottom of the screen, um, kind of towards the right. If you can see my cursor down here floating around at the bottom. Um, that's where those tools are right now, in, in case you have a problem finding them. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. I'm gonna do a delta elevation, so I wanna raise these up. I'm just gonna like raise them up 100 feet. So, uh, I'm going to click on the area where it says selected, and then I'm gonna draw me a box. Boom. I'm gonna say 100, and I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, so now you can see it was 18.71 feet, right? So now if I go back to home, 
I'm going to measure distance. I say measure point. And I'm going to click right in it close to that. It's now 82 feet. So you can see it was like a minus 17 or something like that, right? So I raised it up uh, 100 feet. So there you go. Now it's 80 foot because it was 20. Any, anyways, you get the idea, right? So um, <clears throat> this is a super short Tuesday tip. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. Uh, I'm working on a few things. I'm going to try to get to you guys. Um, it seems like since I moved down here to South Mississippi, it's either raining or the wind's blowing or it's cold or all three of them are happening at the same time. So I just got an email at midnight. I got an email. Um, so it's, it just seems like there's always some hang up somewhere. Or other. But anyways, I'm working on it. I'm going to try to get a bunch of videos out for you guys this year um, so that um, I can kind of keep you guys up to date on some stuff. Um, Tuesday, the next Tuesday tip is probably going to be about RTCM um, and an R12. I believe in access and connecting to a network anyways that's probably gonna be next week but anyways guys i hope this helps i know this was super short kind of quick but i just want to get it out to you so uh god bless uh keep watching like and subscribe love you guys take care i'll see you guys next video